Good morning, class. Today we will be studying... Aha! What Mrs. Hagenmuller did this weekend. I, Mrs. Hagenmuller, survived in the wilderness with nothing more than some dental floss, a poncho, and a jar of peanut butter. <sighs> Olivia? I'm an expert camper, too. Actually, my family and I are going camping this weekend. Ew. What do you mean, ew? It's the most fun ever. Well, I have to agree with Olivia here, Francine. Camping allows us to get close to nature. Nature is dirty and sometimes wet. Five things you must do on a great camping trip. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I have a big surprise for you. I can sleep in my own tent this time? With Francine. Francine is coming? But she doesn't even like camping. Well, her parents just called. They have to go out of town this weekend, and they asked if she could come with us. Well, then, I'll just have to turn Francine into an expert camper. <laughs> That's the spirit. She's going to love it. Come on, Francine. <sighs> Song time. 99 buckets of slime on the wall. 99 buckets of slime on the wall. 66 buckets of slime on the wall. 66 buckets of slime. Buckets of slime. If one of those buckets should happen to fall, 65 buckets of slime on the wall. 23 buckets of slime on the wall. 23 buckets of slime. No more buckets of slime on the wall. The end. Again. 99 buckets of slime on the wall, 99 buckets of slime. We're here. Oh, run! Right. <laughs> okay, there are five things you must do on a great camping trip. Number one, watch Dad try to put up the tent. This is where he realizes that he didn't put all the poles in. Oh, and here's where it collapses. Oh. Now he says he's all right. I'm all right. And here's my favorite part. Olivia, would you help me put up the tent? Sure, Dad. Come on, Francine. Okay, Francine, here's your part. You have to bang the stake into the ground. I do? My dad will help you with the hammer. Okay, let's test it. job. Thank you, girls. No problem. Now we get to put up our tent. Great. I'll get the poles. Watch this. No poles. Cool. Okay, number two. Go mountain climbing. Mountain climbing? Rule of life number 47. Walking up things is harder than walking down them, but the view is beautiful. Ow! My foot hurts! Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you sure you're okay? Maybe you should lie down. But if I lie down, I'll get dirty. Right. Getting dirty is number three on my list. I'll pass. I'm going to go back to the tent now. I have my comforter and my pillow and my cot. What are you going to sleep in? A sleeping bag on the ground. That doesn't sound very comfortable. We're supposed to be roughing it. I don't think so. Number four on my list. Find a really cool bug. Number four! Sometimes you can do that with number three and get really dirty at the same time. Ow! I got bitten by a mosquito! Mosquitoes don't count. They're not an unusual bug. But it itches! 
I know the best treatment in the world for bug bites. What is it? Mud! <laughs> Ew! I'm dirty and I'm wet! I'm dirty and wet! And I'm covered in mud! What do you need, Francine? What I really need is a shower! But how am I going to have a shower? Cool! You know what? You might become an expert camper too. Really? It's now time for number five. The absolute most incredibly important part of a great camping trip. Kayaking on a mountain lake, snuggling in a sleeping bag, sleeping under the stars, finding the absolute perfect stick for roasting marshmallows. Wait, we don't need to do that. My mother sent me with some long silver forks. But expert campers don't use forks, do they? They use sticks. Mm -hmm. Now, let me explain the perfect marshmallow roasting stick. One end needs to be sharp enough to put the marshmallow on, but not sharp enough to poke you. Too many branches on it. Too long. Too short. How about this one? <gasps> That is the best, most perfect marshmallow roasting stick I have ever seen. Francine, you have a real talent for this. How's this one? Too long. And it has too many leaves on it. Here, let me help you look. I have a talent for it. Mmm, these are so much better than the heat and surf marshmallows my mom gives me. Number four! Ooh. Wow! Cool! Fireflies! Ooh. Wow, Francine! That takes care of number four. Find a really cool bug. Let's just use flashlights. This is kind of scary. But fun. I'm cold. That's why a sleeping bag is good for camping. It keeps you more snugly than a bed. Let's get in ours. There, isn't that better? It is. I'm getting toasty. And we can make shadow puppets. Cool. What's this? <laughs> a rabbit. What about... Quack, quack. Nice one. And my favorite... What's that? What's wrong? You really scared us. I just wanted to say sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, girls. Hey, you want to tell ghost stories? Now that's the spirit. But not too scary. Just a tiny bit scary. <sighs> you start. <sighs> there once was a very silly uh, ghost who... who... You know what? This is the best camping trip I've ever been on. Um, Francine, this is the only camping trip you've ever been on. Well, I'm going on a lot more. Huh. Of slime on the wall, a thousand buckets of slime. You take one down, pass it around, a thousand buckets of slime on the wall. Can we go on another camping trip soon? Definitely. Tomorrow? Well, not tomorrow. How about next weekend? Mm, probably not next weekend. How about the weekend after that? Go to sleep, Olivia. I love you. Love you too. Good night, Mom. I hope we see lots and lots and lots of red clothes. Oh, me too. Fashion shows are always so exciting. All the beautiful clothes, the music. <gasps> it's starting! <laughs> what kind? 
kind of fashion show is this? I thought the clothes would be fancier. Well, me too. A child could put on a better fashion show than this. A child like me? Well, certainly you. With your sense of style, you could make much more beautiful clothes than these. Thanks, Grandma. It's okay, William. Daddy will get the ball back for you. <laughs> Here you go, pal. Huh? Crew, this is Captain Ian speaking. We've landed safely on a faraway planet, but we must be on the lookout for alien life. Why'd you get so dressed up? It's just grilled cheese. A fashion designer has to look perfect. Always. My baseball socks. Did the aliens give them to you? Like my newspaper design? I think it's very fashionable. And the hat is very informative. Look, it's going to rain tomorrow. That's stunning, Olivia. How do you think a glamorous designer would take her place at, say, a dinner table? Your attention, please. I would like to announce the showing of my first fashion collection this Thursday at 545 Sharp. All are welcome. I don't want to be in your fashion show. What makes you think I'm looking for models? Because you announced your fashion show to the whole class today. So will you do it? No. Too bad. They're making you this outfit. It's what all the rock stars are wearing. They are? They will, when they see this. I won't. I'm sorry, it's not the outfit. It's all those people who will be watching. But how are you going to be a rock star if you don't want people watching? I'll just hide behind my guitar. <laughs> Here, so no one will know it's you. Okay, maybe. Perfect! See you later! I said maybe! One more level, and I'll be ruler of the galaxy. Stop moving, Ian. I'm trying to glue your sleeves. I can't work like this. Me neither. There. Whoa. I did it. I did it, too. Yeah! I wonder if all fashion designers go through this. Francine, this is one of my favorite outfits. I knew I'd get the best outfit in the fashion show. Close your eyes. Okay, open them. I'm so 
supposed to wear that? I call it the Francine dress. Don't you just love it? No. What? Why not? Well, first of all, it's got vegetables on it. They're pretend vegetables. Very in fashion this year. And I thought it would be pink. That radish is sort of pink. And it needs ruffles. Ta-da! Ruffles. I could work with this. <laughs> this is the first fashion show I've ever attended. Really? Well, they're so much fun. The clothes, the drama, the music. Welcome to Olivia's Fashion Show. Dad? Where's my Francine dress? Where are the green ruffles? Oh, the green ruffles were great, but purple is my new favorite color, and I couldn't decide whether to wear my purple sweater or my purple skirt, so I wear both. Hmm. Hold on a second. Hmm. Still too much purple. Here, hold this. Perfect. Now go. My guitar. I can't go out there without my guitar. But you look great. I don't care. I can't look at the audience. Wait, what if you didn't have to look at the audience? Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll be here all night. Psst. Is that Julian? I'm not sure. Take me to your leader. <gasps> Ian, why are you wearing that? Well, you could wear your space helmet, or you could wear the helmet I designed. It's invisible. Awesome! I didn't know Ian could dance. Bravo! 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 <laughs> Olivia, I am so proud of you. That was some fashion show you put on. Thanks, Dad. Would you ever wear one of my designs? Absolutely. Good because I made something especially for you. Oh. It's very informative. Thank you, Olivia. I love it. I'll wear it head to toe and read it front to back. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Dad. Julian, I'm hiding. Find me. Julian, you're supposed to try and find me, remember? Hide and seek? Actually, I like to play set and watch. And my cat Gwendolyn can jump through two hoops forward and backwards. And she stands on her tippy toes. My cat, Edwin, can dance ballet. Gwendolyn can also swim in backstroke. Well, Edwin can sing opera. I just remembered. Gwendolyn can make yummy macaroni and cheese. 
My cat Edwin used to make plain macaroni and cheese. Now he makes three cheese macaroni and bakes cupcakes. You know what might be very fun? A show and tell day for you and your pets. Ooh. Why, I'll even bring in a couple of my furry friends. Because they're so pretty. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're mama's little babies. <clears throat> well, as I was saying, yes, Olivia? I have an even better idea, Mrs. Hoggenmuller. Can we have a talent show for our pets? They can all do a trick, and whoever is the best will win a prize. A pet talent show? My, oh, my, how do I keep coming up with such fantastic ideas? Fun idea, Olivia. Gwendolyn loves a good challenge. Edwin doing tricks? I think Edwin could surprise us. And Julian, ready? Okay, Edwin. Energy. Jump! You can't get him to jump if he won't move. I'll get him to move. Here we go. Come on, Edwin. All you have to do is move two inches for your very favorite food, sardines. Maybe one inch? Is there a problem, sweetie? It's Edwin. I really need to teach him some tricks, but he won't listen to me at all. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Edwin. Plus, cats only do what they want to do, Olivia. Good girl. Now walk your hind legs. Now walk backwards. And a flip. Wow, Gwendolyn. That was perfect. Okay, pet lovers. What the f Fun begin! Daisy, why don't you go first? This is Trevor, my hamster. He smiles. Harold? Behold my talking parrot. Hi. There. Hi. Oh, cool. There. Hi. Awesome. Sam? This is Sally. Sam will take care of Sally. Sally. Julian, you're next. This is Bernie, my lizard. He, uh, sticks his tongue out a lot. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. That's he also awesome. catches flies. Where would we be without lizards? Olivia, your turn. Edwin, the famous circus cat, will now perform some amazing tricks. Sally. Sally. commands. Edwin, you will snore really loud. <laughs> <laughs> he did very well. And now it's time to see the last pet. Francine and Gwendolyn? Meet Gwendolyn. She's very talented. Whoa! <laughs> Job, kids. No question about the winner. It's Gwendolyn. <gasps> oh my gosh. Mrs. H, did someone come in second? Well, yes. There is a tie for second place. It's between everyone. Yay! Wow, that was great. Well, it sounds like a very fun pet show and tell. I still can't believe Francine won the first prize, and I didn't. I agree. You should have won. And your lizard was really good, too. Thanks. And Bernie thanks you, too. 
Make sure to feed Edwin now, honey. Okay, Mom. Come here, Edwin. Edwin? 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 Edwin! Edwin's not outside. I don't know where he is. You can't tell anyone. We have to find him. Edwin moved? He never moves. Something must be really important to him for him to move. Rule of life number 24. If you have a pet that never, ever, ever moves, watch out, because one day he will. It's okay. We just have to look in all his usual places. <laughs> What's lost? Nothing. A toy, a book, an Edwin. Shh, Edwin's nowhere. I guess we'll look in the not usual Edwin places. Follow me. <sighs> My, you all look sad. What's wrong? Well, I can't find Edwin anywhere, and we looked everywhere. Well, you know, cats can be tricky. But Edwin isn't tricky. He can't do one trick. Well, someone must have seen him. Do you know this cat? Here's some thinking music for you. Oh, fluff face. It is Gwendolyn. Maybe using this will help. Take another look, Gwendolyn. Yes, he looks sort of familiar. Good. Now, when did you last see this cat? My cat is innocent. No one said she wasn't. I'm just asking a few questions here. Now, think. Where were you on the day of... of today? I did not see Edwin after we walked home from school. Ah, so you know Edwin's name. Yes, I do. But that is all I know. Of course. I don't know what you're talking about. He's here. I know he is. Edwin, it's time to come home. <gasps> Edwin! You're doing tricks! He must have snuck in. I've been busy teaching Herman, my new dog, some tricks. Aw, they really like each other. We'll give them a kitty play date. After I'm through playing with my amazing cat. See you, Francine. I think maybe after I'm an explorer, a doctor, a conductor, an artist, and a pilot, I'll be a detective, or a cat trainer. Sounds like a very busy life. Yep, and you know what would really help me? Another cat, don't say no yet. Just one more cat. Good night, Olivia. We have a perfectly wonderful cat in a very full house. No more pets for now. Thank <laughs> you.